Now let's start with the first feature of Java 8. Uh, so the first feature is you can define the methods in interface, right? So let's say we have an interface here, which is interface, uh, maybe a phone, phone interface. And in this phone interface, we can only have abstract methods, right? So let's say we have a method called as, let's say call. <coughs> so with this call method or this call method will not have any definition it will only have the declaration which is void call right and then uh, let so yeah so the so we can we have a method which is call which is declared now in order to create the object of this phone interface we need to create a class and that class will ha that that class will have let's say the the class name is uh, android phone now this android phone need to implement an interface called as phone and in this android phone we need to define a method which is called as call right so we have to say public void call now it's it's compulsory right in case if you if you come in this part if you just come in this section and if i save this you can see there's an error here uh, it says android phone must implement the inherited abstract method phone dot call so we need to define this method that's compulsory right because whenever you implement an interface you should define it and we are defining it and then we can simply say here we are we can say uh, calling okay that's the thing we are saying here and now let's create an instance of phone so we can say phone p equal to new android or android phone okay and we can say p dot call right that's how it works so that's how we can create instance of interface but let's see in future if you want to update your interface because because maybe you are creating an api and uh, in in your api you have lots of interfaces and then you are giving this api for other to other users and they will be or other developers and they will be using your api they will define the class or they will implement the interface which you have declared now in this case, you, are, you have created an interface which is phone and Android phone implements your interface which is phone and they are calling, they are defining a method which is declared in your interface. In future, if you want a phone that should have a feature of message, okay, now that means this Android phone need also needs to define that method called as message. But once you publish the interface, it should not be changed or you should not be you, you should not change the interface once it is published but I want a method uh, I want a method message there so what we can do is we can say void message but instead of declaring it we can define it we can give the uh, open and close curly brackets now this is not possible in Java 1.7 okay and uh, and the version of which I'm using here it's also 1.8 uh, so why it's not working it's because by default all the methods in interface are public abstract now to, to break that default thing we have to use a keyword here called as default so you can define methods in interface using default keyword and let me let me print here uh, something called as sent okay and we can simply say p dot uh, message okay and if you run this code Let's run this. You can see we, the, we got the output calling and sent. So that's how we can define method in interface. Now you will ask what's the use of this because uh, we, why, we, why anyone would like to define methods in interface. Again, just for the concept, just remember this, we can define methods in the further or, or you know, in the series of, in this series of tutorial, we'll talk about why we actually needed that default method in interface okay trust me in the uh, maybe in when we start with the collection part or uh, the stream api part we'll discuss that but time being focus only on interface in interface we can define method using default keyword so thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe the channel so that you will watch the further videos so thank you